hello friends welcome to my channel in this video lesson we will learn how we can return an entire array from a function note that we cannot return whole array from a function in C we can return a pointer to the base address of array from a function and then using this pointer we can access an entire array so without any further ado let's get started double click on turbo c icon on the desktop to start turbo c id select new from file menu to create new source file let's start coding hash include stdio.h hash include conio.h void main opening brace closing brace int star marks this is our integer pointer int i clrscr marks equal to return marks semicolon this is our user defined function for i equal to 0 i less than 10 i plus plus opening brace closing brace printf percent d backslash n comma marks of i bracket complete semicolon get ch semicolon ok now it's time to define our function return marks let's do it int star return marks opening brace closing brace note that this function is going to return other than integer it is going to return an integer pointer so we need to mention its prototype so above main i am going to declare its prototype in star return marks okay int marks subscript 10 equal to in curly brackets 50 55 60 65 70 75 80 85 90 and 95 semicolon return marks note that here we are returning the base address of an array the base address is nothing but the address of the first element of an array okay save the program as rev r dot c compile it to make sure that there are no syntax error in the program so alt f9 run the program to view the output and you can see the unexpected output on the screen why this happen and how we can resolve this issue note that if we want to return a local array then we should declared it as static variable so that it retains its value after function call now just add static before int and save the program run it to view the output control f9 now it's ok if you don't want to add this static keyword before array name then simply declare the array as global array so i am going to 
cut this line from here and declaring this array globally here removing the static keyword save the program again and run it control f9 and you can see the expected output on the screen so that's all for this video lesson don't forget to subscribe my channel to watch the upcoming interesting video lesson if you have any queries regarding this video lesson please let me know in the comment section below thanks for watching